Welcome back to another video. Um, on this Sunday short, just time for a quick one. I'm taking this out for a ride in the city tonight and it needs some lights. So this week we are going to be putting shred lights on a mountain board. Now obviously putting shred lights on your Revolve, Mepo, um, X-Way, it's quite easy with a set of standard mounts or angle mounts, screw them in and you're done. So today we're going to look at ways you can attach shred lights to something like this that doesn't have a standard deck. So I'm going to be putting some SL300s on the front, some SLR1s on the rear. Um, and I've chosen bar mounts for the front and some flat stickies for the rear. So if you have something like a Cali with those angled trucks, like a diamond shape, um, you could use the angled mount here for the bar mount. But for the apex with the ball bars on, I'm gonna go for the round mount and I'm gonna put them, I think, out here. One on each side for the front, that way I can put my SL300s on easily, switching between boards. And maybe for some nighttime off-roading I could put some SL1000s on the front there, which should look pretty good. I'll do that in another video. And then for the rear, I've seen someone put the normal angle mounts on the back here, but um, I'm not too sure about that myself, so I'm going to go for something a little bit more subtle. Got a couple of flat mounts. I was originally thinking about sticking them up here, so they pointed up, but I think I'm going to try and attach them there to the side, so they're flush with the box, they should look quite neat and tidy, and then just have the light pointing it up slightly, um, should look pretty damn good. So bar mounts come in either an angled bracket or the rounded bracket. So obviously for this one, we want the rounded bracket and our mount. So a trick to getting this right, because I always seem to get it wrong the first time. The way the light is, you want the light to face is the way you want the strap to go through. So pop the strap through the way the light is facing and that fits the bracket at the rear quite nicely, tuck this in, done. Blue Peter fashion is another one I made earlier, simple as that and we're just going to put the light mount where we want it, fold the strap underneath, pull it tight and clip it on. And there's the first one, put the bracket under, pull it tight, I wonder how tight I can get this. Uh, okay, second notch is pretty good. Um, if you've got a thinner mount and you're pulling this quite far through, let's pull this off a sec, you're pulling it quite far through to one of the other holes and you've got a bit of strap sticking up, it is possible to fold the strap round and just clip it down to keep it nice and tidy. There we go, I think Shred Lights have done a really good job with these actually. Pull it nice and tight. There we go, a pretty versatile. And obviously you can just flip this mount off and put it on your bike, handlebars, scooter, something like that. So let's tidy that up, fold that down. There we go. That was nice and easy. Got my SL300s. Moving. Nice and tight. Oh, there we go. That is going to be awesome. Nice and simple. Now onto the rear. Going to be a little bit more fiddly. So I got a couple of shred lights, flat sticky mounts. Just pulled them out of stock. Um, I've already pre-cleaned my um, my box here. So I think I'm just gonna go like that there. This 3M tape is super sticky, so really think about where you're gonna put the mount before you clip it on. Because I found sometimes I think I'll just line it up and as soon as it touches, it's really sticky and it just binds to whatever you put it on. So 
Let's make sure that's super clean. Clean enough. There we go. Peel it off. Shoes are right spot. There we go. Stick that on. Tread lights do recommend 24 hours to let, to let the glue set. I think we've got maybe six hours before we're going out, I think. Should be all right. All right, peel that off. Let's see if I can flip the board up for you. There we go. So I'm just gonna mount it on the side of the remote controller case here. Just there. Perfect. And there we go. Grab my shred lights, SLR ones. Really should let this set a bit first, but clip them straight on the back like that. That looks really good actually. Very, very pleased with that. Shred lights, done a great job, made life really, really easy. Um, if you're in the UK, obviously Eastgate shop, you can pick up your shred lights, mounts, anything you like, even shred lights t-shirts. Thank you to Eric for letting me print these. Um, all I've got to do now is wait for the glue to dry, wait for it to get dark, we will get out for a ride. Um, that's it for this week. I shall cut the ride footage from tonight into Sunday shorts for next week so you can check out how these did. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time.